Hello YouTube, this is Nathan Morley with another video on the LEGO salvage truck. Well, construction has now progressed from the truck portion of the machine to the arm portion of the machine. I have the uh, sleeve and arm portion of the machine finished, or sort of finished. I have something of a base unit finished, and then the battery box. And the back, which uh, effectively serves as the counterweight, is also finished. The arm itself has these two buckets on it, just normal front end loader buckets. The buckets are actually offset slightly to one side or the other so that the teeth on the bucket actually mesh with each other very nicely. And the mechanism is run by two linear actuators which are powered by the motor uh, between them. The cord for them runs along the black portion of the arm and then exits through the back and then that will eventually connect up into the machine's network. So for the movement of the bucket we have the opening and the closing. I think uh, just because of the range of motion that I'd like to achieve with this system I'm going to rearrange the linkages a little bit. Uh, maybe make it so that this lower bucket uh, comes back farther than it currently does and consequently doesn't go as far forward. And then the upper bucket goes farther forward than it does but doesn't come back quite as far. Uh, one other thing that I'm really stuck on uh, here let me so also, let me point out, this is how the whole crane will be when it's stowed. See, on the bottom here, we have this hook, or this uh, little finger, that sort of engages with the tab on that uh, outrigger arch. And then I don't know if you can see, but it, as it pulls back, it actually pushes a little catch backwards, which closes a switch, which allows me to operate the outriggers and transition the machine from digging to driving or driving to digging. So that can only be done when the crane is stowed. So if I take this off, oh yeah, we also have the uh, telescoping mechanism underneath, powered by the, um, oh dear, the large motor. I think in the future, uh, I'm going to remake this sleeve portion here, but I'm also going to make an all gear, um, drive mechanism between the motor and the extension system. Uh, I have a worm gear in there now, I don't really like how that's working out, so put that aside. Now for this uh, whole crane unit here, um, I, like the I like the operator's cab, I think I'm going to stay with that. Most of this I think I'm going to stay with. Right now how the lifting and lowering of the arm works is I have two XL motors in here, under here, which are geared together and then operate a small winch uh, right down in there. Right now that string is connected to this sort of linear actuator here. Basically it goes up and then down and then back and then down and yeah, it, it's kind of interesting but I don't think I'm going to stay with it. Instead what I think I'm going to have is like a trolley mechanism attached to the underside of the sleeve connected to by a rigid arm to here and then the trolley is pulled in and out to raise and lower the arm. Then another thing that I have that I really like is this battery box here which also serves as the counterweight. I think it was a good I think it's a good use of the weight of the batteries positioning them as far aft on the crane as I possibly can uh, just because this whole mechanism can't really uh, sustain a whole lot of uh, lateral force on it. Um, one other really big thing that I'm going to do is I think remake Oh, the entire lower mechanism to accommodate a uh, Hailfire droid wheel as a turntable. Now, another interesting thing though is if I pull, if I disconnect the battery, pull the battery box off, there are actually two pins down in here, one here, one here, and if I pull those out, they actually allow me to quick, quickly disconnect the whole crane system is part of my idea to make this a fairly modular piece of equipment. So with those two pins out, I can just lift up this entire U in it and with some fidgeting with the cords, it'll eventually come completely out. Now that is one mechanism I think I'm going to carry over um, as I remake this whole machine. So, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully you will see some more progress next time. So, talk to you later.